Okay, so back in week number three, we lost our week two game against Air Force as a rematch from last year. And as you can see in this game, we were down 28 to nothing at one point. And we were able to come back and make it 35 to 21, but we still lost. Let's just see how we did this. We each had 21 first downs. We had 366 total offense. We ran the ball 35 times for two touchdowns. We passed the ball like booty. But they did two. They only had 69 yards passing. We were 7 for 16 on third down, 1 for 1 on fourth down. We were 2 for 4 in the red zone. So we didn't score twice in the red zone. That's kind of crazy. And we turned the ball over three times, three interceptions. You know how big I am on turnover differential, and that is exactly why we did not win. We had 195 yards passing. So if you're looking at the top, you can see we had 12 catches for 195 yards. We only threw the ball to one wide receiver this game. What the heck is Horner doing? He ran it 22 times for 84 yards and a touchdown. I'm just amazed at what at this at this game. Horner did not play good. If your quarterback runs it 22 times, that is not good. And if he only throws it to one wide receiver, that's even worse. Stewart had 12 catches. He caught every single pass. So if we go look at championship contenders, I'm sure we're going to plummet in the rankings now. We drop all the way down to number 45. But we still look good in 2018, still number six. But yeah, we did drop a long ways and we earned it. I'm telling you guys, those injuries are huge that we lost. I mean, especially the defensive tackle. Those are bad injuries for us. So recruiting, we found a few gems this week when we were scouting. Lots of scouting every week early on. You guys know that's how we like to roll. So we found this athlete that's an 81, he's a plus six. We found this wide receiver that's a plus six. We found this wide receiver here that's a plus nine. I don't know why, why we're not putting more points on him. We're gonna go ahead and shift some of those points. And you can see, I'll just kind of skim through these. We can see what we have here on our board. And then some guys down here that I'm not adding any points with that I just scouted and I may have offered them a scholarship. Still got our one guard, Lance Kelly. So week three, we play Kent State, and Herbie's picking us again. Three times in a row he's picked us, but we are turning the ball over. You see that minus five turnover differential. We're turning the ball over like crazy. Just a turnover machine. We're not scoring points near like we did last year. Our offense has been good, just not a lot of scoring. And our defense has been subpar, to say the least, to this point. But hopefully we'll get to turn this back around and get a win against Kent State. All right, so you see that we lost in overtime. So we scored and went for, oh no. We got a two point conversion in the beginning of the fourth quarter to go up by three and they kicked a field goal with 221 left to force overtime and they win it in overtime. Team stats, we turned the ball over again, another interception. We I don't think we have any takeaways this year. Last year, we were so good at takeaways. Look at this game, though. We had 26 first downs, and they had 14. We had 413 yards of offense. They had 270. We had 200. I mean, we dominated this game, it looks like. Third downs, 9 for 22. That's not too bad. 3 for 3 on fourth downs. But in the red zone, we were 5 trips and only 1 touchdown. That's just not going to get it done with one touchdown. We dominated time of possession as well. It, penalties killed us. 12 penalties. Hoyner, again, 21 for 42. That's better per passing completion percentage for 202 yards, but no touchdown passes. One interception and sacked four times. He ran the ball 18 times. That's just a lot of runs for a quarterback, 18. He's, I think he's led us in two of the three games, maybe all three games in rushing attempts. Rhodes carried it 15 times and Nash carried it 10. Nash was very effective, very good game for Nash. 
Campbell Jr., wow, 11 catches. So last week, I believe Stewart had 12 catches. This week he has none. And Campbell Jr. gets 11. We can just watch ourselves plummet as we drop to number 59 in the championship contenders. But, again, we are still number 6 in 2018. We have, we have a lot to look forward to. We're going to have a good team in a few years. This is just one of those years. And you may hear a little bit of frustration in my voice. I'm not overall that frustrated. I thought this was going to be a tough year because we have no experience or no quality experience at the quarterback position. Henderson, I've moved him on the depth chart from a backup to he's not even going to be playing this year. We could put our uh, Woods as a backup now. That way we can let these two freshmen see what they got. and Because we're going to have to move forward with one of those two quarterbacks or the quarterback I'm registering this year. But someone's going to have to step up next year and be a, a quarterback for us. As we look at our recruiting board, I got 675 on a lot of these players. And I think I can really make some headway this week and gain ground or increase my lead on these players. I'm down to only, I think, 24. Yeah, 24 on my recruiting board. But I feel really good about the guys on there. And I feel I don't feel like we're having to add someone this year. I feel like we have a, a pretty good team that we're going to be building depth, which is what we really need is some depth for when guys get injured like we've had this year. That is going to wrap up week four. We're on a bye this week. Thank goodness. Get a bye and hopefully we can come back and get into conference play and see if we can get some wins. All right, so we had a bye week last week, so no game to review. So that means we're going to look at some stats this week. Horner, Horner our main quarterback, 542 yards, three touchdowns, and five interceptions in three games. I made some changes to my aggressiveness, and, and uh, we're going to be running the ball more going forward. So hopefully we will eliminate those turnovers and the bad passing. Uh, running the ball, Hoyner is running the ball eight times more than our running back. That is not good. Rhodes does have 230 yards and three touchdowns on the season so far. And Nash has uh, 146 yards, the tr uh, freshman red shirt. Receiving, this has been, so this is crazy. Stewart's got 12 catches, and that's all in one game. He had 12 catches in one game, I'm yeah, for 195 yards. And in the other two games, he has no catches. Go figure that. Campbell, 15 catches, 143 yards, and a touchdown. Harris, the tight end, 10 catches for 102 yards. And Rhodes has got seven catches. McNair's even added a few catches here. I think he's actually the second string wide receiver. Yes, McNair is the second wide receiver behind Campbell. And then it's Stewart. It's crazy he's not getting more catches. Defensively, we have our senior right outside linebacker, Steve Holman, who's leading us in tackles. The true freshman, Leslie Gray, with second in tackles with 18. Let's go check out our sacks. Henry with three and a half sacks, the right end. Holman, the linebacker, with three. Gray with one and a half. This is not normal territory. You're not misreading that. That's zero interceptions. We have forced one fumble. We did not recover it. That means we've had no turnovers this year. That's just not a recipe for us to win. Kicking, we're five for eight. The tr uh, freshman red shirt, or the red shirt freshman's five for eight. That's 62%. He's seven for seven on extra points. Missed one under 30, and then he missed one over 40. So, for a freshman, not too bad. He'll, he will improve and get better. In the bye week, we actually dropped one spot to number 60. And, but we stayed number 6 for 2018. So, we're staying consistent in 2018. They really like what we're doing for that year. It's, it really is crazy how much we're struggling. We've got an 86 overall team, 88 offense, and 85 defense. And we're just not scoring the ball this year. So as we look at recruiting here, we're pulling away with this uh, athlete that's an 81 overall. Very nice there. Although he's only a 19% log, so it's not like we're pulling away too quickly. The, the wide receiver, nice to lead there. In fact, we're the projected locked cutoff. And we'll just kind of skim down through these. We're in good shape on a lot of these players. 
This other wide receiver here, Danny Presley, we're really going to try to push. We're going to put 700 points on him and see if we can gain some ground on OU and maybe lock him up here pretty soon. Another athlete no one's really going after. We're going to try one or two more weeks with this uh, Vince Brigham, uh, outside linebacker. He's a very good linebacker, so hopefully we can jump back up there and maybe take him away. But that's going to wrap up recruiting for this week. We do have a game against Western Kentucky. This is going to be my first conference game, so hopefully we can get back on the horse, so to speak, and get a win. We are being picked to win by Herbie, but... The minus six turnover differential is killing us, and that ranks 124th in the nation. So hopefully we can start taking care of the ball and maybe force a few turnovers, maybe force our first turnover of the season and get a win. That's going to wrap up this episode. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you check out Lil Chef's video. The link for the playlist is in the description as always.